Hello and welcome to the CCNP Routing and Switching course offered by Simply Learn. The last lesson focused on network monitoring. This lesson focuses on troubleshooting spanning tree and VLAN. Let us begin with the objectives of the lesson in the next slide. By the end of this lesson, you will be able to troubleshoot VLANs, troubleshoot trunking, troubleshoot interfaces, troubleshoot ether channel, troubleshoot STP. Let us start our discussion on virtual local area networks. PVLANs require VTP mode to be set to transparent. If traffic is not reaching the destination, it is possible that PVLANs are not configured on all appropriate switches along the traffic path. Set VTP mode transparent and manually configure the PVLANs on all appropriate switches, including all switches in the path. Ensure that PVLAN information of all switches matches Ether channels or ACLs do not function on private VLAN ports. A PVLAN port cannot be used as a SPAN destination interface. In the next slide, we will discuss trunking. If trunking is not occurring as expected, check the DTP modes on the link. A trunk will not be created if the administrative trunking mode is dynamic auto on both sides of the link. There are two points to keep in mind with switches that support ISL and 802.1Q. The switch port trunk encapsulation.1Q command is often required before further configuration. Also, if one end of a trunk is ISL and the other is 802.1Q, the switch will report giant frames. There are two trunk connections that require DTP negotiation to be disabled. The first is a connection between a switch to a router. The second is a link between two switches belonging to different VTP domains, unless one is the default null domain. In the next slide, we will review troubleshooting switch interfaces.